Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I film about book reviews, movie reviews, little stuff, history. In this video, I shall be reviewing the unique movie citation. And yes, there are spoilers. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Citation is written and produced by Kunle Afolayo. This movie is centered around a prevalent problem in our tertiary institutions across Africa. The cast of this movie is made up of Joke Silva, Gabriela Folayo, the heightened French actor and model Jimmy Jean Louis, Iniedo, the Ghanaian actor Adj Anang, Sadiq Daba, Yomi Fash, Afrobeat artist Shen Kuti. V. Ibuku Awoshika also graced us with her presence in this movie. And of course, to the talk of the movie, Temi Otedola, the major character. Joke Silva took on the role of Angela, Murami's lawyer. She justified the role. She portrayed an older female lawyer. Gabriela Folayo took on the role of Koye Jo, a medical student who falls in love with Moremi. Jimmy Jin Louis took on the role of Professor Lucian, the antagonist of the movie. He portrayed the role of a cunning, manipulative lecturer who picked an unusual interest in his female student. Iniedo took on the annoying role of Gloria, Moremi's friend, who turns out to be an unfriendly friend. The Ghanaian actor Adeje Anan took on the role of that matured course mate who looks out for his younger colleagues. I guess we all had that matured colleague in class that, you know, saw himself through school. Anyways, the movie also features Yomi Fa. She took on the role of Professor Lucien's lawyer. Sheung Kuti was featured as well in this movie. Sheung Kuti took on the role of Sheung Kuti. <laughs> The Ibuku Awoshika was equally featured in this movie, not as an actor, but as a guest. She just made a guest appearance. Now, she took on the role of the head of the panel set up to inquire into the complaints of Moremi. You guys, she was a natural. I was shocked to see her featured in a movie. I wonder how Kule Afonayo put that out. In fact, in an interview with Ibuka, he, he stated, and I quote, I saw Ibuku Awoshika in my dream. I saw her on set, I was directing her, and then when I woke up, I decided to feature her in the movie. That's weird. Now, to the elephant in the room, Temi Otedola. She took on the role of Moremi, a young, intelligent, vibrant female student postgraduate student. You guys, she finished the role. She graciously beautified the movie with her class, her courage, her intelligence. Whilst I was seeing this movie, I was asking myself, who is this girl? And then I was discussing with colleagues and the movie came up. Apparently they had seen the movie. And then we kept on asking one another, who is that Moremi girl? Who is that girl? Who is that girl? Who is that girl? I mean, her courage, her simplicity, her intelligence, her outspokenness, and she's so fluent in French. Who is that girl? And then we decided, okay, let's Google it. And then when we Googled it, guess what? Temi Otedola popped up, as in Otedola, as in DJ Kupi's sister. Aww. For some people, the big deal in this movie is Mrs. Ibuku Awoshika. For some of us, it's Temi Otedola. Let me know on the comment section who is your big deal in this movie. I give kudos to the writer and producer of this movie. I love the fact that the setting and the plot of this movie is vast. You guys, four languages, if not more. English, Yoruba, French, Portuguese. I was wowed by the intellectual conversations in the classroom. A classroom was actually filmed in this movie and we saw a lecturer asking questions to students, students asking questions to lecturers. 
the intellectual conversations. Wow. These conversations kind of gave the movie these academic vibes. I am so impressed that this movie seeks to portray a societal problem in our tertiary institutions across Africa. In my honest opinion, this movie has international standard. The only part of this movie that is not so pleasing to me is the fact that it was so obvious that Temi Otto the last Yoruba was under construction. And then Professor Lucien's hair. Up till now, I don't understand the hair. If you want to know about the hair, go get the movie. Go and watch it. It's on next Netflix. We've come to the end of this movie review. Kindly give it a thumbs up, share, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Catch ya in my next video. Bye ya!